following tag team contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 447 pounds, Jason Jordan and Chad Gable, American Alpha. This is it. This is the match we've all been waiting for. And the electricity level in the arena right now is unlike anything I've ever felt. Into the collar and elbow tie-up. Only one competitor comes out ahead here. Well executed clothesline. In a tag team, being a good partner is as important as anything else. How can he do his part tonight in this one? Since a two-on-two -two match can go one of two ways, the most important thing is that you and your partner move like a well-oiled machine. If there's no continuity, you're done before the bell rings. I'm sure he can pick up the slack if needed, but I don't think he wants to go down that path. Nicely executed. He had him locked in tight, guys. Oh, and he breaks free. But the damage might have already been done, Michael. Can he end it quickly? No trouble getting out of that one. Very nice. Looking to make a much... There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Not going to win many matches with that move. Pure power on 
on display right there. And Aiden English heads for the top rope. Here it comes. He's got him. He'd be smart to stay put there. Aiden English with a great offensive show. Check out Chad Gable's offense. Check out Chad Gable's offense. Look at Chad Gable making his move. What an amazing stretch. Here's his chance to win this. A little forced yoga, I guess. And he releases the hold. I don't think he had it fully locked in. He gets it with a reversal. Chad Gable doing a great job of turning that around. I'd say Chad Gable just turned the tempo way up. German suplex! Woo. This could be it, guys. And we have our winners. At a combined weight of 487 pounds, Connor and Victor, the Ascension. Here we go, and it sounds to me like the crowd is more than ready for this one. So am I, Michael. I've been looking forward to this match for a long, long time. Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. When I think of tag teams that can make a major impact on today's WWE, I absolutely think of these two teams. The WWE Universe here in our nation's capital is certainly adrenalized for this one. Just listen to them. And he delivers a spirited elbow. In a tag team, being a good partner is as important as anything else. How can he do his part tonight in this one? The competition's fierce, but I really believe this team is ready to become WWE's top tag team. Chad Gable not looking so good. And you have to assume his partner is just itching to get in there right about now. It's no secret that quick tags lead to success in the tag team division. And I'd say the quicker he can make that tag here, the better their chances of winning will be. By the looks of things, I don't think he expected his opponent to be as motivated as he clearly is here tonight. Uh-oh, what is Victor going to do here? That one fails to connect. Great idea by him. Too bad it was awfully executed, though.
With Victor at the helm, the Ascension took down everyone in their path while in the NXT. Hoping to end it early. Plenty of fight left. Just power out. Just making his presence felt there. From what we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. Man, Jason Jordan, what offense. Man, Jason Jordan, what offense. Any way you look at it, Victor is a frightening individual. This man is devious, dangerous, and loves misery. The only thing Victor loves more is to inflict severe levels of harm against an opponent. I've been in battle against Victor, and I can tell you this. The man is so resourceful, he can use everything around him as a weapon. He's simply reminding him that he's here. And he hits a monstrous powerbomb. Now we see Connor hurting a little here. Oh, God. That was hitting the nail right on the head. If he takes many more of those, he's going to get lit up like a Christmas tree. Man, Jake, his shoulders are down. And he gets the shoulder up. He's got some more fight in him, guys. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Look at this. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh. Jordan with a bone-crunching spear. He's looking good now, guys. And there's the reversal from Victor. When his strikes land, you can feel it in the first few rows. And Jason Jordan reverses it. Yeah, it's obvious that something got into him. Now there's the counter. There may be no escaping this fireman's carry. I don't know. Never say never, Cole. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. Desperately trying to get... Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Take cover. You could call this a good old-fashioned butt whooping. Not sure if you could sustain this, but it's sure fun to watch right now. Counter here. Oh, no, a counter. Uh-oh, what is Chad Gable going to do here? He's taking a long time to get up, guys. Perhaps playing a little possum here, Cole. Chad Gable doing a great job of turning that around. There's no recovering from that. What a maneuver. Nobody on the roster stretches an opponent quite as effectively. Flips the script on him there. And what a reversal from Chad Gable. Guys, when you have as trained an eye as I do, you get to a point where you can see the finisher coming before it actually comes. And let me tip you off to something here. It's coming, and it's coming very soon. Jason Jordan tagged in. Teamwork at its best. But is it enough to put Victor away? There it is. Now the question is... They did it! They won the match!
at a combined weight of 456 pounds, Fandango and Tyler Breeze. Fandango making his way to the ring, as only Fandango can do. Big time tag team match underway here. Guys, there's nothing like a good old fashioned tag team match. The WWE Universe here in our nation's capital is certainly adrenalized for this one. Just listen to them. <laughs> Just brings him down with authority there. Guys, I'm gonna discuss Fandango for a moment. In a tag team, being a good partner is as important as anything else. How can he do his part tonight in this one? As you know, we're talking about somebody with a ton of talent. I'm not so sure I like the idea of it being showcased in a tag team. You gotta let talent like that shine on its own. We know he has a skill to raise his game in there whenever he chooses to. And the situation may call for it ultimately, but that's up to him. Tyler Breeze is modeled all over the world and continues to be his own biggest fan. But when it comes to competing in the ring, Breeze knows how to win and knows how to inflict serious harm on his opponents. An early pin attempt. Oh man, they don't even seem hurt after that. Tried for it early. Man, Jason Jordan, what offense. That's a great example of a highly efficient and highly effective strike. What placement. As infatuated as Tyler Breeze is with himself, the definition of delish possesses the ring awareness to sense an opponent's weakness, capitalize on it, and be relentless in doing so. Tyler Breeze has been an influencer in the fashion world for years. Tyler's not his own biggest fan, you idiots. Prince Pretty just knows his worth. Breeze also knows how to physically and mentally batter an opponent. And by the way, Byron, I loathe you. Check out Chad Gable's offense. Dongo's on the attack now. Oh, I think this man means business. Still trying to get back to his feet here. He's clearly in a bad way right now. Dongo is dancing all over his opponent right now. A thing of beauty. The Russian leg sweep by Fandango. Can he end it here? What a sweeping blow. Oh no, Jason Jordan just got outclassed. 
somehow has to, and he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Knocked off his feet. Now that's a takedown. Up and over with a suplex. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. He's looking at it. Last dance. Nobody does it quite like him. Oh, and he reverses it. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. Tyler Breeze is not someone to sleep on. No doubt about that one. Things just went from bad to worse for Chad Gable. Tyler Breeze is measuring. No switch from Tyler. Here's his moment, Michael. The force of that impact. This could do it. And that's it. This one is over. And it's one-man rock band starting things off for his team. Guys, the tag team scene in WWE right now is so impressive. And these two tandems are a lot of the reason why. That one was packed with plenty of malice. Let's talk briefly about Tyler Breeze. In a tag team, being a good partner is as important as anything else. How can he do his part tonight in this one? The tag team matches you'll see in WWE create some of the most heart-stopping action anywhere in the world. He arrives on the scene here as part of a tandem that looks like they expect to win. But there's another team that may have something to say about that. Buckle up. This ought to be good. Heath Slater showing us how to get it done. Heath Slater put all of sports entertainment on notice when he was not a Raw or SmackDown draft selection in 2016. Audience have gotten behind Slater knowing that what he's done over the years is to support his family. Look at this. He's going back to an old friend with that one. Things have certainly changed for Heath Slater here in WWE once he became a free agent in 2016. For the first time in his career, the WWE Universe felt like Slater's unique brand of vocal enthusiasm and confidence was endearing. For most of his career, Heath Slater was not a favorite of the WWE Universe. That was until 2016 when he shared that he needed a job to support his family. I found that type of pandering to anyone who would listen to be pretty unprofessional. Will execute a double team. What does Heath Slater need to do now to remain a factor in this match? Bad move there. I don't know what made him think that was a good idea. Hoping to end it early. One, two. No. Oh, Heath Slater. Got all of that one, that's for sure. That slam just brought this entire arena to its feet.
tagged in. That's a great example of teamwork right there. Hoping to make a tag here. And it sounds like there are a lot of people here tonight hoping for the exact same thing. It's like a light went on and it's shining bright. And he gets him with a counter. Fadalko with the spinning heel kick. There it is. Byron. Things definitely aren't looking very good for him right now. Fondango turns it around. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Belly to belly. That could be a game changer. The switch here to Heath Slater. He's in a tough spot here, Corey. And if he doesn't get up, it's going to get a lot tougher. to be right now. Yeah, you're not going to win many matches when you're down. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Fondango has him set. Oh, that was beautiful. That almost came out of nowhere. Fondango looking to end this quickly. And a kick out. Nice kick out. Perhaps feeling a little more comfortable on the outside at this point. Showing some spring in those legs. Tyler Breeze gets tagged in. He's not looking good here, Byron. No, he's got to get up, and he's got to get up now. Campbell clutches in. Look at the torque. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. And he escapes the submission. And good gore. Truly devastating, Cole. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. The tag team seen here in WWE is undergoing a great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. He is a one-man gang in there. Showing very few signs of life here. Yeah, there's no way he comes back from this. Might as well ring the bell now. He might... Oh, what a gore! It is going to be difficult for Tyler Breeze to bounce back from that. The situation just got real bad for Tyler Breeze. Guys, when you have as trained an eye as I do, you get to a point where you can see the finisher coming before it actually comes. And let me tip you off to something here. It's coming, and it's coming very soon. Nice effort, and here's hoping he can sustain it. He's in a little bit of trouble now. This tag team match is dangerously close to getting out of control for him. The abuse has... There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Whoa, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. It's like a light went on and it's shining bright. Beautiful kick by Fandango. Talk about taking care of bits. Shoulders down, is it enough? The pen's broken up. He's not getting up. You can't like his chances right now. Big miss for him there. And he'll likely pay for it here. And this guy, can he do it here? The 
Super Slam from Slater. Fondango just getting punished in there. Oh, and the reversal by Tyler Breeze. Oh, the counter. And there's Tyler Breeze in off the tag. Just look at this man. He's all business. He's taking a long time to get up, guys. Perhaps playing a little possum here, Cole. Heath Slater has him in his sights. Heath Slater. Oh! It is going to be difficult for Tyler Breeze to bounce back. This could do it. One, two. Now that's an impressive tag team victory. At a combined weight of 489 pounds, Zack Ryder and Mojo Rawley, the Hype Bros. Zack Ryder with a big opportunity here tonight. Huge opportunity, Cole. Let's just hope he realizes that. And it's one-man rock band starting things off for his team. The WWE Universe here in our nation's capital is certainly adrenalized for this one. Just listen to them. He gets him with the overhand punch. Tell me your thoughts on Heath Slater. What does he need to do to make sure his team comes out on top here? He and his partner look good so far, Cole, but it's far too early to pick a winner. Let's see how this one plays out. What I'd expect here is his team noticing an error made by the other side and turning that around on them to pick up the win. Teamwork at its best. Guys, Zack Ryder may be in a bad way here. And you have to assume his partner is just itching to get in there right about now. It's decision time, Cole. Does he try to get back on the offensive himself, or does he attempt to make a tag here? Teamwork at its best.
Heath Slater put all of sports entertainment on notice when he was not a Raw or SmackDown draft selection in 2016. Audience have gotten behind Slater knowing that what he's done over the years is to support his family. This can go a variety of different ways, Corey, and almost none of them are good. A nice shot by Mojo Rawley. Things have certainly changed for Heath Slater here in WWE once he became a free agent in 2016 for the first time in his career. Hoping to end it early. I can't believe it. He just kicked out. Just powered out. Now to the back of the neck, absorbing some big-time punishment. He's feeling good about himself, that's for sure. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. When he's going like this, there's just no one stopping him. Connects with a counter. Such a devastating splash. This Mojo Rawley scores with a tremendous move. He needs to capitalize on it now. Ah, oh, that's it. That's got to be it. Mojo Rawley now. That's a finishing move, people. Slater's going to be singing a little off-key after that. Man, absolutely devastating, Cole. This one's over. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Joe Riley showing us how to get it done. This might be the end of the road for him, Byron. Well, if he can't get back to his feet, you're absolutely right. Looking to make the tag. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Down he goes. That'll do it every time. Mojo Riley and up the tag. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Pays for that one. And the big boot lands. Headed to the outside now. Smart move. Takes some time to think things over. Dropped like a bad habit. Going for an encore here. He's looking a little off balance. This tag team match is dangerously close to getting out of control for him. This is not the time to be a hero. To keep this match from slipping away, he needs to get his partner in there and take a break. He's taken on some damage, but so is his opponent. This match can go either way at this point. Oh, this is one of my favorite moves, Corey. Unfortunately, woo, 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 I know it. Boom, broski boot. Is it enough, though? Zack Ryder is really applying pressure now, guys. Ah, Zack Ryder with a Rough Rider! Just when you thought he had nothing left, Rhino's just getting overwhelmed. Putting his leaping skills on display here. Mojo Rawley comes in off the tag. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Reverses, and he hits his splash. This one's over, guys. Put it in the books. There's no coming. Bojo Riley scores with a tremendous move. That's what he was looking for, Michael. That'll make you rethink your profession. They did it! Wow! What a match!
Here are your winners, Zack Ryder and Mojo Rawley, the Hype Bros. An amazing contest comes to a close following a decisive pinfall victory. Tag teams beware, these two guys are legit. And I can imagine there aren't too many people at home regretting tuning in for that amazing match. Wow.